Well, hey there, folks. This Fairy's Best, honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Sometimes right, sometimes wrong. But I still do bees. Welcome to my bee yard here in southeast Louisiana. Alright guys, well I'm out here and I'm going to do a video like I did last year where we're sitting at about, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe uh, mid-season already for us. Really it's not mid-season but the, the first flow is on and then the big flow is coming. So check out the bees. I want you to take a look at this. I don't know if you can see them all throughout the air but then look at this. Look at these. Now, and all the all the boxes are blowing and going. So getting back to what I was saying, last year I did a, a similar video that I'm going to do today. But it's basically just a walk through the bee yard for the most part to show you what's going on and where we're at. Now that particular box we just looked at was a split I did from over there. The box three, about the three on the stand, the, the one in the middle with the marks, uh, it had swarm cells. Um, it, it, got, it got ahead of me somehow, I'm not sure exactly how because they just built them really fast. They had plenty of space. They were uh, ready to roll, but that one was one that it was a matter of growing too fast on me. I guess I just underestimated it, but it wasn't too far gone. And I noticed I couldn't find the queen, and I saw a few cells, and I decided to go ahead and just split it off real quick because at the end of that pallet down there was one of the boxes we put queen cells in that we bought and they made emergency cells eat in each one well that one didn't make it uh it did the queen the requeening it failed for whatever reason she didn't come back maybe a bird ate her maybe she got disoriented who knows but nonetheless she didn't come back so there were a few bees left not a lot two or three frames of bees left so i just took that box that was about to swarm combined it over there with them and i didn't even look for a queen to be honest with you guys i made sure both boxes had cells i shook a ton of bees in that box down there and said go for it y'all figure it out and it looks like i think that one's got a queen because there's a lot of bees so i'm gonna go in that one in a day or two and take a look and see if we can go ahead and add a box but look at this one going too oh got a bee in my hat anyway just want to take you around and tell you what is going on so as you can see, we've been able to double up on a lot of these. Oh, that rabbit. I didn't even see that rabbit. Maybe y'all saw him. Uh, that's a swarm. And there's a swarm that we haven't taken out of the box yet. And it's got three cones built on the lid. i got to cut them off. But I'll get to them when the time comes. The privet is actually starting to work its way to an end. It's been going for about a week now. And it is so fragrant. It's not even funny. But yeah, so anyway, most of our splits are in double deeps. Um, and I'm going to take you next door and show you what we got over there. But we are absolutely going and going and going. So the, the one down there is going to need a double soon, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, B. And that's a swarm there. That was a swarm that fell over, fell out the tree. That's one of the splits that just got doubled up. That split, an older split that's doubled up. That's an older split that's not doing quite as much build up as fast. Not sure why. That's a split that took a while off emergency sales to queen. And that one has now got a queen. And that split has got a queen. So basically, let me tell you how the queen situation worked out this year. Let me get out of here because I got one buzzing and bumping off my head. And she's about to aggravate me. So where we are now, those are orientation flights are doing because they're all right here and they're coming back down and they're going back in. They're coming and going and coming and going. But looks like they're about done with their orientation flights. They're winding down. Uh, I need to check in there and see. I, I bet I bet when I moved that box over there, I bet that's a queen that came out. So anyway, let me get you all to sun. So where we're at with the, the requeening. 
This year, I took a look and did the number crunching. And as of now, I have got two boxes that I know failed on requeening out of everything we did. Everything else made queens. So I got 90% take this year, and I'm really excited. Now it's overall take. Now on the cells, the eight cells that I bought, we got a 60% take. Four for four the first time, one for four the second time, and another cell that I put in. I had two extras. Um, another one made it, and it worked out. But the reason we're at 90% is because the cells that actually didn't take but made emergency cells instead, all of them did except that one. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think those are great results this year. You know, my plan was to queen, requeen with cells instead of walk away splits this time to save myself and, that, you know, a time. And that's what I did. We have boxes. This privet flow is going to end in about three weeks. We're looking at tallow. Those doubles will be ready. And guess what? We requeen re with cells. I would just now be getting queens in them. And now here they've had queens for a month. So three weeks to a month. Something. Oh, no, it's been a month. So that's good. That is really good. Some of them a month, some of them three weeks. Let me re-clarify. Re but that's a good thing. So that puts us ahead and gives us that many extra production colonies should we have some unexpected swarms back there. And that happened last year where we had some swarms in our split colonies, walkaways. They weren't quite ready yet because you're not going to get a good lane queen until mid-April. Well, that's three more weeks before she begins to get her first brood emergence. Well, that's when the honey flow is happening. Your workforce isn't built up enough. You just don't have the bees. You can have a queen all you want, but if you don't have the bees to go get the nectar, it's no good. So what we have is we have, man, and I mean, there's bees all in the air over there. But what we have is we have a queen. Her first emergence came out last week in some cases and coming out this week in others. And that gives them two to three weeks. Now, after that first three-week emergence, there'll be an emergence each and every day if she's a good queen because she's putting in that many each day. So every day after that, you continue to have an emergence, which gives us three weeks before the next flow, which gives us a nice workforce. Those boxes, the top deeps, are half full right now so they'll be ready for supers just about on time so that was kind of the that was kind of the whole plan and it worked uh, and I'm happy with it and I'm really excited about the take on my Queens and pretty much everybody but two for sure and then possibly these two last two that I got to check for Queen and I'm not counting my nukes now that I may walk away splits on that some of them I'm gonna sell and some that I requeen I'm talking about production hives uh, everybody's queen right except for two that I know of and those are my 10% that didn't requeen now the nukes that I pulled off since uh, they've a couple of them have already requeened um, I used virgins and I used cells uh, one of those that we looked at in another video it didn't yet but I haven't checked back to see if it has yet so um, you know if they've made queens even better but those were cut down splits. I'm not really worried about those. Those are bonus and anything that makes a queen, why that's gonna be something I sell. Uh, got one ready to sell. Hopefully that one's gonna be ready to sell. Got another one's gonna be ready to sell, hopefully. Those were two walkaways, should make queen soon. Um, gonna be checking in another week. Got another nuke on the ground. I'm gonna keep that one, make that into a single. It's not gonna worry about going into any kind of um, production until next year and I like having singles into winter because they can be production hives next year so everything is on track now whether we lose a queen here and there now could lose one during an inspection could lose one for whatever reason uh, we shouldn't but I'm not gonna be digging in them so deep right now at this point we're gonna just go through and check and see where we're at with honey supers and where we're where we're going with nectar and how much nectar is being put in so anyway let's go out here and take a look at the other yard and see where we're at 860. I know the sound of one of those. I've worked on those for a few years. I haven't been videoing every single thing I do in the bee yard, and I really haven't been taking you along with all the inspections I do each week on all the different boxes. Uh, 
because it's the same thing over and over and over every box. I'm just zipping through them and trying to make sure who needs space, who needs comb, who needs to be not so honey bound, all that. So as they're filling up, I'm stacking supers. So as you can see, we've got quite a few supers going and we got quite a few bees going. Yeah, they're getting after it. There's one of my little nukes that they may have a queen. There was an emerge cell in there, but I don't know. It's not looking hopeful. We'll find out though. And if it do, 160, come and get it. Same over here. We've been supering up a lot of boxes and uh, looking for swarms in the trees. Looking for swarms on my swarm catching trees right here that's where they all hang out if I catch them you know they could have swarmed this morning and hung on a tree and left already I don't know there's something up in that tree what is that might be a bee swarm there what is that there we go there's one Yeah, that's a little swarm. I wonder where they came from. Uh, probably I'll get a bucket on a pole and get that one down, put it in a nuke. But uh, everybody's working hard. Um, we did have one that had the, 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 he got the single and then the second one that's two deeps in a super. That one may be what swarmed. Or this one right here because that I had to split that one that's another one that snuck up on me and uh, wound up having some cells but I did a split on it and moved the queen off but we'll see she uh, they may have swarmed anyway so for that swarm out there um, only had three boxes that we were could have possibly had a swarm in them uh, based on the last inspections of oh goodness we need to do something and I didn't uh, I wasn't sweating it to be honest with you uh, I did a little intervention like I did. I split one hard. I took another one and pulled some bees off And if it went no problem, I was just gonna recombine it So that's probably what I'll do and that's a little swarm. So it might have come off that one I split really hard. Maybe they went ahead and took off anyway um, But I did find the queen she's over there. So but here's what I did have happen last year with a tiny swarm I split a hive off that had swarm cells and Actually, no, I take that back. I actually, yeah, I split it off and it turned around and um, if you're not careful and you leave enough bees and enough cells in there, they'll still swarm. They'll just, it'll be almost that cast swarm, that secondary, that'll take off and go on up and swarm anyway. So that could have been the case with that one. But I split them down hard, hard, hard. Like there was maybe four frames of bees. So there shouldn't be anything coming out of it. And it is pretty light, light traffic. So that's what I wanted to show y'all anyway. I'm going to go get this swarm out the, out the tree if we can reach it. I've got a bucket that I hooked to an old uh, um, pole saw pole. And I just tape it to it and stick it up there and grab them and put them in a nuke. But uh, as far as um, what's going on, everything's going along as scheduled. What I'm going to be doing now is going through all these supers. Some of them already had uh, um, a good amount of honey in them or nectar. And we're beginning to be capped. So hopefully in another say two weeks we'll be able to pull some honey off of them maybe not uh, what I what we have here is we have this privet that comes in when it comes in heavy like this you can draw honey off of it no problem what normally I count on it for is to build up my boxes well since my boxes were already ahead of the game this time for the most part like a few years ago we had a year like this we can actually put supers on and try and capture some of it we already had nectar coming in from the wildflowers and from a few other plants out here so we had nectar going in but uh, this extra boost should hopefully put some honey in the supers uh, that's all we can hope for but normally I don't count on this flow this is not a flow I count on it's a build-up flow for me and it builds up those colonies while we're getting ready for the main flow which is tallow now look this flow can be heavy and hopefully it is so 
Only time will tell. This week I'll be going through and lifting the lids, taking a look at where they're at. What I did last week was I under supered everything with empty comb. Um, and this flow, until it gets midstream, uh, it won't even do good with foundation. They don't like to draw it out too much. So it's, it's heavy, but it's not. It's just a weird flow. But I'm grateful for it. And it looks like it's pretty heavy this year, so we'll see what comes out. Let's go get a bucket and get this form out of the tree. Hi, right, folks. It's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. Um, so it tells me which one it probably came out of. I got a good idea. Oh, well, there it is. I got a three-pound ball of bees. It's a pretty good size one, so we've lost uh, a production colony, most likely. That's how it goes. But it's not a big deal. What has now happened is if that was a honey production hive, and that one probably could have been, uh, it won't be. But what I'll do is we'll save the queen and we'll recombine them with somebody else for the big honey flow. And that'll also help me condense down out of hives because right now I'm well over 40 hives and that's not what I want. Too many. So let me get this thing out the tree. I put a frame of brood in here. Now that brood is, uh, I don't have my glasses, but that brood is, um, it's capped and larvae and eggs. It should hold them. It usually takes them right to it. Just making sure she ain't on top, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the lid on. I don't have my smoker. So I went and grabbed that brood. I knew we'd need. Need a little something to hold them in there. Let's see what that does. I got almost all of it in one pop because it was perfectly the size of the bucket. So there's a small little cluster up there. I'm gonna grab them real quick, throw them back down on top. So let's get this other little clump out of there. Get them in a the box, get them on a stand. get them down and get them in the box uh, the ones that go back up shoot a little smoke on them. you don't even have to shake them off again and uh, they'll they'll leave that and eventually they'll all come on down those are field bees yeah they fly them back up field bees and scouts Well, folks that's about it besides the donkey running in circles behind me pretty uneventful day again I'm gonna know <laughs> I think I know where that uh, that form came from the size of it let me show you what's left up in the tree so that's what's left up there it's just a little ball all right scouts and field bees uh, We'll see what they do, and if they don't, they don't come on down. We'll put them in the bucket and knock them back out again. Hi, folks. Uh, 
that's it just wanted to take you through the bee yard and let you know what's going on because i haven't been following like i did last year this isn't a this isn't a series like i did last year last year i wanted to show what it took for an average guy in my area doing it my way to raise uh, bees and make honey and uh this wasn't like that this year this is just stuff i'm events and and uh problem colonies or swarms or whatever it's all it's been is just hit and miss type of stuff that i'm doing in my yard it's more you know more unique rather than just the same old day in day out and uh like i said took you through a few inspections at the beginning but uh, i've been going through them each week and monitor them and everything so where that one came from again i know about where it came from but uh i've been staying, staying on top of them trying to keep them from going and giving them giving them space splitting them off doing the right things that you're supposed to do and i've been pretty successful so far but we've still got oh three weeks before the main flow so really want to hold on to them now uh if that did come from the colony i'm thinking it did no problem i'll recombine them with somebody else we'll we'll take the new the newest of the queens i'll take an old queen get rid of her put them on top of a new queen done deal unless they don't make fast enough uh i've got one that should have emergency cells this weekend i'm actually going to take that one kill those emergency cells and recombine them back and uh kind of reset them i guess you'd say see if that'll work uh, for that particular colony but again took you through the yard just to give you that update since i haven't been giving you updates each week show you where i'm at show you what we're doing uh, i'll probably take you through when i look at the honey boxes see what kind of honey we're stacking in if much at all and uh wow we found a little surprise again don't want to find those too many of those surprises but uh it was a little bigger when i looked from the other side of the trees up it looked like a just a small ball so that made me think it was from the hive i split off but it was a lot bigger than i thought so it filled a quarter of that bucket probably almost a gallon and a half of bees at least three pounds went ahead and got a 10 frame stuck them in it put them on some brood that should hold them i'm gonna call it a day i'm gonna leave it sit right there uh i just kept going up grabbing some dumping them grabbing some dumping them the more and more flight bees i could get down there by the entrance the better now there's a small handful up top they'll come on down eventually so i'm gonna leave them for about an hour box them up put them on a stand i'm gonna get some more foundations i'm gonna pull a frame of nectar for them from somebody and uh kind of get them settled in maybe uh, a nice drawn comb as well all right guys well look hope you enjoyed the walk through the yard hope you enjoyed the swarm catch i appreciate everybody that's been coming along i appreciate everybody watching and don't forget, if you do like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, anybody that just enjoys watching bees. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Like I said at the beginning, sometimes right, sometimes wrong. But I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful evening. May Lord God bless you. See y'all later. What's behind me? Checking out the action. Just eating grass, living life.